Hi everyone, my name is Alex Park, Marketing Manager for Australia and New Zealand. And today I'd like to give you a brief summary of our Learner Ready event in partnership with Intrepid Learning, which occurred last Wednesday and Thursday in Sydney and Melbourne. So this event, the theme of the event was using technology to sell more and service better. This is our target audience. We were aiming for ASX 300 organization, which is similar to NASDAQ 100 organizations. And we were aiming for heads of general managers, directors in sales, learning, customer experience, customer service, capability, enablement, and transformation. This is a brief uh, history of our breakfast forum to date. I joined in 2014. Uh, and my first gig was um, sales a forum for Sydney, Sydney, and we had 49 people attend at the time. Then last year we had Joe Galvin who presented SRP matrix to our Sydney and Melbourne delegates. 60 and 30 were the final showed up attendees. And this year we had 100 people registered for Sydney, 71 people registered for Melbourne, of which 65 people turned up for Sydney and 60 people turned up for Melbourne. This is the characteristics of our delegates for both events. Sydney, we had over 57% prospects and Melbourne had 57% prospects. And the middle column shows the number of organizations uh, across both cities. And on the right, you see we had majority of our delegates from Sydney and Melbourne came from tech and telco sector followed by financials and health. And I also observed this trend at the Australia Summit in May where a lot of our delegates, prospects or clients came from technology or telco sector. If we break it by the uh, job title, we had 63% of delegates come from GMs, heads of managers. And then next biggest group was the orange collar partner and director level, followed by 15% who are others. So when I mean by others, they are those who do not fill in, fall into either of the three buckets. The marketing channels we use to drive attendance. So I had seven weeks from September 29th leading up to our event day, which was November 16th for Sydney and 17th for Melbourne. So I use a series of channels to drive the attendance. First one being EDMs, uh, fortnightly emails, telemarketing followed, by, followed up by my um, business BDM, whose name is Bruce. He works Tuesday to Thursday and pretty much he's the main guy who will follow up on those who express interest to attend the forum. Um, we also use LinkedIn, sponsored updates, sales navigator, to do lots of prospecting. And I've leveraged channels, our good old ISCs. We've got about 20 to 30 of them in Australia, New Zealand. And our inside sales. And I also ran a series of competition to drive um, participation. So pretty much all the channels and ISCs, I created a trackable link so that I can attribute who has brought most number of delegates. And I ran a competition where if you bring five or more delegates, you have a chance to win $100 or $50. And us being in sales, we, are, we know that salespeople are very competitive. And these little carrot incentives often work well. And I intend to use more of them in the future. Persist IQ is similar to Marketo, but a lot simpler very intuitive and what it does was I can extract all the lead like prospect or prospect uh, database from LinkedIn, save it into this app called Persist IQ and send the emails that looks like it's coming out from Martin Sparks and using Martin as our uh, brand ambassador, we were able to get three to four re uh, registrants using this app, personal selling. So what I experienced at the summit, I also experienced at this event, and that is summit or breakfast forum is a lead gen event to help salespeople make their selling easier. Now, but in the, in the eyes of sales, these events do help them, but it's not as priority because salespeople are driven by KPIs and commissions, and they're interested in 
uh, opportunities that will be immediately closable today, tomorrow, in a week. And they see this event as a long-term activity. So it's not their priority. So pretty much marketers have to put, they have to act like a seller. We have to sell hard. And then once we've brought a um, certain number of delegates, either for Summit or this, then salespeople get inspired by the numbers and they will want to experience the same level of success. But until it reaches that path, it will be largely marketing-led sales support type campaign until you reach certain threshold where sales feel compelled to be part of the success. And lastly, we use an Australian site, our millerhymangroup.com.au website. So when someone lands on our site, they immediately saw a pop-up banner which appears for 20 seconds, which promotes the forum. And we had five delegates registered through this activity. So it was pretty interesting. This is the agenda for Sydney. So what we did different this year was we actually implemented seated down lunch and learn and we got this inspiration from our um, forum who ran a seated lunch and learn around July this year. So Martin and I wanted to try that concept because historically we've been doing um, breakfast and learn. So we decided to do uh, lunch and learn. So, and this is the agenda. And because it was seated table arrangements, I had to reach out to our ISCs and ask them about a week prior, guys, I want you to let me know who you want to sit next to. And pretty much this is the table arrangement that I um, came up for the ISCs. This is the agenda for Melbourne, which occurred on November 17. And it's a typical breakfast buffet and learn. So logistic point of view, it was a lot simpler to organize. Here are some of the shots from Sydney. We actually had iPad as our group exercise, which was a huge hit. And if you see in the middle, there's a lot, we did a live polling using people's mobile phones. And this, we introduced this concept at the Australia Summit and it's been hugely popular. So we brought it back again for our forum. And again, it has proven to be a big success. So Martin and I will continue to use this app called Direct Poll moving forward. And it's free, which is great. These are some of the shots from Melbourne, Breakfast and Learn. And as you can see, the whole theme of using technology to sell more and service better, and we, you, we kind of breathed that concept by having an iPad exercise, it was a massive hit. Again, Direct Poll showed a lot of interest and engagement with our delegates. This is a Miller Hyman Group stylus pen we gave out to all the delegates uh, for attending our forum. So the follow-up and the outcome today. After the event in Melbourne, we had three SSOs from our big customers like NAB, National Australia Bank, Australia Post, and Gallagher Bassett, and there are more to come. The bottom left-hand corner is the follow-up marketing plan for our delegates as well as our Australian um, master database of so 50,000. And that's the calendar of, you know, I'd say editorial calendar of post follow-up marketing. So we did a post event EDM on November 18. So pretty much straight after our event for immediacy. Then this week we had a follow-up call from uh, Bruce to driving participation. And next week we will leverage what we learned from the survey to, and then have a sales ready conversation. And as you can see in the calendar on the bottom left, so I'm trying to create a rhythmic nurturing flow so that Sydney Melbourne delegates who came to our forum remain engaged well throughout the end of the year. And for our database of 50,000 names, we will nurture them on a monthly basis. And my aim is to keep these contacts well engaged throughout this year, as well as Q1 next year, which will help me drive even bigger and better Australia Summit in 2017, which I'm really looking forward to. So these are some of the feedback we got from the post survey. So if you were to recommend this event to a friend, how would you describe it? So these are some of the responses you see. Um, overall forum satisfaction was 4.1 out of 5. And if we, if they, and how likely would they recommend our forums and events to friend in the future? 7.5 out of 10. What did you learn at the forum that you'll implement in your organization? Input into LND. 
you know, great insight from Telstra, who was our client speaker. You know, I like learning about Intrepid Platform. Pretty much now through this initiative, um, not only people learn that Miller Hyman Group is no longer a sales organization that they once knew, the dinosaurs or blue sheet, green sheet, gold sheet. We are a lot more than that. And, you know, as tech, you know, in this age of Internet of Things, technology will play a vital role. And we have just demonstrated that we're able to execute our IPs in sales and service through technology. And Intrepid has been instrumental in this success. Highlights and lowlights. Highlights of this um, initiative was seated lunch and table arrangement was a hugely successful from the ISC's perspective as well as the attendees. The live polling direct poll, which was introduced at the summit, was a huge success and we will continue to use that. iPad exercise really drove partner uh, engagement with the audience. They just loved it. And collaboration between Intrepid and Miller Harman Group was, I believe, a recipe for success. Without Intrepid's ongoing partnership and we could not have executed this initiative topic of using technology to sell more and service better creating enablement program that leads to world-class sales and service transformation it was right on par and people loved it and it's helped us transform our image to the eyes of australian new zealand market the low lights were large dropouts uh, because it was a complimentary event and especially those who agreed to attend pretty much one or two weeks after promotion so they ex they express interest they attending yet when we did the follow-up call about a week prior and um, they said um, we can't no longer make it so nurturing marketing for those who um, express interest early is vital to make sure they are constantly engaged and per prevent them from being dropping out so maybe sharing assets related to event leading up to the event will keep them engaged and not forget about their initial um, desire to attend. Um, feedback form failed to ask delegates to input their contact details like emails and phones. So unless they express uh, their email address in during the feedback process, we would not know. So that was a little bit of a mistake, which we'll avoid in the future. And a lot of content creation for this event, pretty much we created something out of nothing. Had there been a content like this in the past where we can repurpose, it would have been easier. But again, innovation starts out of nothing. But it was a good journey for all of us and it turned out to be a great success. So we're very happy with the outcome. Uh, getting feedback from people, I felt the survey, uh, not many, we had about 10 people give feeling out a survey, but I believe we could have uh, emphasized giving feedback at the event earlier so that people can actually give feedback. I believe we made all the right noise at the event. Martin, you know, asked for feedback, but somehow feedback is optional. I believe, so we could do more in that sense. And lastly, um, Microsoft, who was the client of Intrepid, who's pretty much showcase how Microsoft enabled over 9,000 people using technology to sell more service better. Because it was not our client, we I had to work with him uh, in partnership with Intrepid. So rather than going directly to the Microsoft speaker, we had to go through Ben Kyo for that. That pretty much sums up for the event. And I will be sharing a another video that which shows the actual intrepid platform we use for this event. Thank you very much.